Now, a few pictures, which hopefully help you understanding what's happening internal in a soil. Got an agent here. Sorry, an application is an agent. Sends messages on the soil. Remember, I said before, each agent has a message queue. You see that that agent has his message queue. He sends object A, B, C. I didn't write them out in words because it's very long, but you know what the objects are these days. The soil is responsible for guaranteed delivery, which means as we persist, generally persist the message, I make sure when there's anyone on the other side ready for it, we'll deliver it. Until it's acknowledged, we won't throw it away. Except in uh, circumstances where you have timeouts. I think you can set timeouts on messages. That agent, here being a subscribing agent, for example, as well, has his queue. Now let's go through the scenarios. I take tribe order again because we had fun with it. So, object A, student personal. A couple thousand, just fine. Object B, school info. Tens, twenties, not a problem. Object C, daily attendance. Oops. 20 million, uh, 20 million records a year. Which, every day, is a few records, a few thousand, that's okay, but when you do the initial sync, it's going to work for a while. If that happens, let's say that agent, because that guy here goes, give me student personal, give me st uh, school, and give me the enroll, uh, sorry, the daily attendance. We will send these three requests over here. That agent starts providing that data. The order is not guaranteed as far as it will send the student person first, then the school info after, and the daily attendance last. It might start sending the daily attendance first, then the school, and then the student. See if it doesn't dictate how that goes. All it dictates is if I send student A, then I send student B. On the other side, I have to receive student A first before I receive student B. That's within the same object. But if they're different objects, one school, one attendance, you might send one first before the other, one time. Now, that was setting the scene. Consider that 20 million records coming through, attendance, here. First, behind comes the student. Took us three days just to process. Can't remember. Just that was with events. They sent with events. Half a million records. Process them. So that means for three days, that site did not receive any messages about students because they queued up here, one after the other. There's only one queue to share for that agent. So that, that's a bit of a problem. They go, oh, we did just a uh, change that student. We still haven't received the update for it yet. Go, yeah, okay, wait. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, there's, there's still 500,000 messages to go before you can jump. You can't jump the queue. It's a proper queue, you can't jump it. So, that didn't go down well. <coughs> that summarizes, I think, to a good extent what I've just said. One message queue per agent, important. Does all objects use the same queue that agent deals with? Order of messages in a queue is guaranteed. Which means messages cannot jump ahead of another message and you cannot prioritize them. So that's a more important one to deal with that first. See if that. This is required to maintain the queues, guaranteed delivery in the order it receives its messages. I explain to you the message load problem. Can't jump the queue. 